What up, what up, what up? It is Tuesday, October 1st. Today on Recorded, we're out of the studio and outside for coverage of the vice presidential debate happening tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern, hosted by CBS. The debate will happen right behind me at the CBS Broadcast Center in Manhattan, New York, between Republican J.D. Vance and Democrat Tim Walls. That great awning is the building's main entrance. New York City as a location has meaning for both parties. Democratic presidential candidates have won the state since at least 1996, according to state data online. But in the last two elections, they lost most of the counties to Republicans. The main state that has largely kept New York State through all these years is New York City. Just under half of the Democratic vote came from here the last two elections. Here's the election map from 2020. Inside the circle is New York City. Democrats got about 4.8 million votes statewide of the roughly 8.7 million total, and about 2.1 million of their count came from the city. In 2016, about 4.4 million New Yorkers voted blue of the total 7.8 million votes cast in the state. Of that 4.4 million, about 2.1 million came from the city. So a debate here speaks directly to the New York voting block that may decide which way the state goes. I walked around this area and chatted with some voters ahead of the debate tonight about their thoughts on the vice presidential candidates. What is your impression of J.D. Vance and Tim Walls? I honestly haven't heard much about J.D. Vance other than his like name being thrown around. But Tim Walsh, I heard a bit about what he believes in, what he stands for. And honestly, it, he seems like a decent dude. Like, yeah, I feel like our ideals align quite a bit with Tim Walsh. Uh, well, I don't think much of J.D. Vance, obviously, because of the recent statements he made uh, against the Haitian immigrants, which are obviously racist and done to you know, take um, the, um, what do you call, take the, um, I forgot. But it basically he's trying to take away from the real issues that need to be talked about. And then he goes on about Haitian immigrants eating cats. And I'm like, seriously? I mean, that's just pathetic, really. And I mean, he seemed, I guess, moderate before he was chosen by Trump. Uh, but then ever since then, he's just gone off the deep end. And now he seems to be, frankly, a bit of a threat to this country, along with Donald Trump, obviously. So Tim Waltz, what I've seen about him is that he's a family man. I've seen a lot about that. He seems kind. Uh-huh. And, well, with the other, I don't really know much. I just see that he's kind of rude, I would say. Like, he talks over people in his interviews. Well, I mean, he seems okay. He seems a bit moderate. I mean, he would have to be the coming from the state of Minnesota. Uh, I would have to hear him to see how he feels. But I assume that since Kamala Harris picked him, that he has some sense and that he'll be, you know, a stabilizing, you know, balance with her. And what do you want to hear discussed at the debate? I definitely want to hear about Roe v. Wade and like a lot of, there have been a lot of bands that have been making their way around the United States, and I definitely want to hear a bit about that, especially, like, the bands on, like, LGBT youth. Honestly, it's kind of crazy, but, yeah, I want to hear more about that. What Are they permanent? What are they planning to do with that? Are there going to be more bands or things like that? Well, first of all, I would like to hear J.D. Vance apologize for what he said, which is not likely. <laughs> And, you know, talk about issues like the economy, what's going to be done about that. I mean, how it can be improved and um, other issues that I know are pressing about um, climate change, uh, the border issue. Um, there's a whole lot of issues, but I know there's a limited amount of time that they can talk about. So I just want to hear common sense, frankly. Well, I would like to hear more about what they will do on the issue in New York and the rising prices, you know, because I feel like it's getting real expensive here. And if the election were today, who has your vote? Kamala. I would vote Kamala Harris, of course, and, Jade, and um, Tim Waltz. Kamala. 